So guys, this is quite a big deal. Tesla is preparing to roll out its next generation hardware to power the unsupervised full self-driving and this is going to be the suite of sensors that's going on to newer vehicles rolling off the line by later this year. Now with that, not only are we going to be seeing a staggering leap in performance, but we are going to be getting some critical updates to hardware suites that we have never seen in any iterations of updates before. Late last year, Tesla introduced the RoboTaxi CyberCab during the Wii Robot event, giving us a glimpse of what to expect in the next couple of months as they set out plans to launch the service in Austin, Texas by the middle of this year. Around the same time frame, Elon confirmed that Hardware 5 is in its final development stages with mass production set to begin in early 2026. Later in the same month, sightings of refreshed Model 3s began featuring updated cameras placed in newer positions marking the first glimpse of Tesla's next generation suite of sensors. During the early stages, a few vehicles were seen parked at supercharging stations, driving on the highway and throughout city streets, all completely uncovered, leaving many questions as to what they are really working on. Sitting at the supercharging station, at first glance, it was quite clear that the sensors were not integrated into the car while engineers were testing what the functions are and the camera's positioning had been adjusted to fit various shapes and sizes as well as the body type and style of the upcoming models. Along with the updated angles and positioning, there was also the front bumper camera to have been noticed. Similar to what we have on most of the lineup today, this is going to greatly improve on full self-driving as well as the park assist functionalities. Then moving on to the earlier parts of this year, we started seeing more of these vehicles on public roads with the latest one in Palo Alto, California, an engineering vehicle was spotted up close and personal with some further modifications to its exterior. The car is seen coming without any side mirrors, which appears to have been intentionally removed and covered with electrical tape. And upon closer inspection of the fender, the camera has been subtly adjusted, now pointing closer to a 90 degree angle. Moving to the middle of the car, the B-pillar camera appears to have also been completely removed and repositioned to the rear passenger glass. This shifts its viewing angle significantly, placing it much further from the car's center. And finally, for the rear of the car, the backup camera has also appeared to been adjusted now positioned much higher and aimed more towards the ground. Now, ever since the Palo Alto sighting up until now, that was the very last time we saw any prototype Model 3s with the new sensors driving on public roads. And a lot of us are thinking that this might just be in preparation for the Wii Robot event for the RoboTaxi launch and all of these sensors here are made specifically just for that car. Now, honestly, that might have been the case, but at this point, that's no longer true as we've started seeing a ton more of them being tested. And this means that a lot of vehicles that are testing for are also going to get the new upgraded hardware five sensor suite and this is where the start of this new transition begins. And luckily for us, it looks like all of that has just begun with the latest sighting over this weekend showing us and revealing a ton more things that we have been waiting to see. As we approach the production of Hardware 5, we are seeing much more refined versions of the setup, which are now better integrated into the latest engineering vehicles. Spotted by a user on Reddit that goes by Ready Medium, Images were shared of a new prototype Model 3 supercharging at a location in Concord, New Hampshire. It was mentioned that this vehicle had Texas plates on, indicating that it is a development vehicle likely driven from Giga Texas factory and making a charging stop before heading off again. A user presumed the engineers are testing full self-driving unsupervised with the latest hardware, though this cannot be confirmed as there are no additional indications based solely on the images. What can be confirmed, however, is that Tesla has updated the hardware suite. What previously appeared to be designed for different models now looks seamlessly integrated into the new Model 3 Highlands. Later in the same day, another similar vehicle was spotted in Boston, Massachusetts. A user on X going by Dylan shared various images of a Model 3 also charging at a supercharger, 
presumably the same car that was seen in New Hampshire. Right off the bat, what we see from the front end is the long-awaited bumper camera which we first seen back in 2023 now fully integrated into the design. Also compared to the prototypes seen earlier this year, this appears to be the finalized version tucked subtly away and into the bumper grill for a more seamless look. Then moving over to the sides of the car, this is where we're gonna see the bulk of the changes. The Fender camera has probably seen the most updates going from a smaller sensor that points further back to one that is more larger and points 90 degree outwards, then this update further enhances the design by including what appears to be a larger housing similar to that of the Model S. Then moving on to the B-pillar camera, there has been slight modifications to its covering. It is now positioned behind a perfectly fitted plastic mold with a cutout designed for the cameras to see through. One surprising aspect of this version is that Tezza decided to reintroduce the original B-pillar camera Looking closely, it appears that both sensors are present and active, indicating that Tesla is no longer shifting the pillar module back and it is instead adding a dedicated sensor just for the rear view. Then finally, for the biggest upgrade of it all, a completely new group of sensors has been fully integrated into a single housing spotted at the front windshield of the car. Looking closely from an angle, you can see an identical housing next to the one that we are familiar with. However, this one appears to have some new components, including what looks to be three additional cameras. Although we can't say for sure that what we're looking at is definitely hardware five, we can say that this is entirely new and something that we have never seen on any vehicles before. All right, so there we have it guys. I don't know what to think of the new sensors that are seen on these newer prototype vehicles. I don't even know if they're the exact same vehicle as we've seen in the prior months, but they are definitely hosting a bunch of new sensors and either they're going on to the CyberCab or they're gonna go on to the next generation vehicles. This is where all the new placements are going to be. But one thing that is very clear and what we can see directly from these images and excluding the rear of the car just because we don't have any images of that yet is the fact that there is going to be at least six additional cameras on the car, two for the B-pillar camera three for the front facing windshield camera, and then one at the bottom grill for the front bumper camera. This is going to be a massive leap in not just the performance of the FSD computer, but this is going to be one that is going to give it so much more viewing angle from all different scenarios from the outside of the car. Now, I would say that the likelihood of this being for the CyberCab is still extremely high, but the likelihood for it being on every other model is going to be much higher than that just because they are preparing for the mass production of this chip and this upgrade in early 2026 and it's going to go on practically every single vehicle that they are going to make by later this year moving forward so they are definitely going to be trying it on all the types of angles of every car from the tall model s to the cyber truck to the small cars like the model 3 so all of this is currently being tested of course on the cheapest and most subtle model that people aren't going to be noticing as much but it is taking care of every angle possible on every single car. So yeah, to summarize, unlike the Model 3 transitioning to Hardware 4, where Hardware 4 lacked a lot of the basic features while it caught up in data, this is not gonna be the same case. Hardware 5 is going to be that leap that is going to be truly autonomous and they are testing everything they can on these mule cars and these are the type of sensors that you are going to want to have on your cars if you want to keep it for a very long time. Now, really, I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Would you rather wait for a new Model Y Juniper and wait for Hardware 5, wait for the V2 manifold to come out, wait for all the nicest upgrade, you get all of them by early next year, or are you going to pick one up now and eventually see what's to come before deciding to upgrade? I would love to hear your thoughts on that because I'm in the same spot right now as we speak. Anyways, as always, I'm going to be keeping an eye out for everything that comes out and updating you as quickly as possible. So I'd love it if you guys stick around, hit that subscribe and the bell notification if you haven't already done so. And follow me on X at HeyJohnE. Over there, you guys will see things you wouldn't see over here and you guys can chat with me over there and I'll respond as quickly as possible. This should be it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This is John. Once again, peace out.